Good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour. You're joining us here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console, monitoring all of the systems on board the orbiting laboratory. That team today is being led by Flight Director Ron Spencer there on the right, and joining him at the Capcom position, serving as the voice link between controllers here on the ground and the astronauts up in space, is Anna Fisher. And those astronauts up in space right now are the Expedition 30 crew. You can see them here. They are being led by NASA astronaut Dan Burbank there in the front left of your screen. Behind him are Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. Moving further across the back row, you have European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers, NASA astronaut Don Pettit all the way in the end there, and finally in the front right, Russian cosmonaut Alag Kononenko. The crew started their day waking up at about 1 a.m. Central Time today and went right into a number of uh, science experiments and maintenance activities to consume all the hours in their day today. Commander Burbank, uh, a little bit earlier today, was gathering up some hardware and reviewing procedures for some maintenance work he's going to be doing tomorrow on one of the aiming swing bed uh, payloads. It's an investigation on board the station to help determine if a vacuum regenerated aiming system can effectively remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Uh, and then this is typically a device used on short duration space missions. So this is just a payload to try and test that viability. And currently right now on board the station, Commander Burbank is working with the combustion integrated rack. You can see him here, this is a live view. He's going to be replacing the fluids and combustion facility display and control module. This will be an activity that will take quite a few hours today. That combustion integrated rack uh, includes such items as an optics bench, a combustion chamber, fuel and, fuel and oxidizer control, and then a number of different cameras inside, all used to perform combustion experiments in microgravity. Moving on, Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov was working with the Russian bar experiment alongside Anatoly Ivanishin. That is a Russian investigation that helps to develop new procedures for detecting any depressurization throughout the, uh, the station's modules. He also just got done finishing recording a few messages for uh, events across Russia alongside Anatoly Ivanishin and Alag Kononenko. And then a little bit later today, Shkaplerov will work on the orthostatic stability test which looks to uh, study the distribution of fluids throughout his body and if it's having any detrimental effects on the astronaut's health. Again, Anatoly Ivanishin worked alongside with Shkaplerov on that bar experiment, and his day is going to fairly mirror uh, Shkaplerov's today, where he's going to also be doing one, his own orthostatic stability test and also just got done participating in that Russian public affairs event, recording a few messages for Russian audiences down on the ground. The third Russian cosmonaut, Alag Kononenko, is doing some cargo transfer activities with the Russian resupply ship, the Progress 46 vehicle, currently docked to the station, and will also be doing a few exercise activities and his own orthostatic stability tests a little bit later today. European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers is doing some cargo operations of his own, but with the ATV-3 or the Eduardo Amaldi cargo vehicle, a European Space Agency uh, automated resupply vehicle that has been docked to the station almost two weeks now after docking back on March 28th. You can see it there in uh, the very back of this photo docked to the uh, aft port of the Zvezda service module. And along with those cargo activities, he's also going to be working with the fluid physics experiment facility, just replacing a few brackets and uh, cover plates and things like that in order to uh, keep the facility in place and protect it. And then our final Expedition 30 crew member, Don Pettit, immediately upon waking up this morning at about 1 a.m. Central Time, started collecting urine and blood samples for the Human Research Facility. These astronauts serving as uh, kind of test subjects themselves during these long-duration space flights. And he then stored all those samples in the Melfi freezer. Melfi standing for minus 80-degree laboratory freezer. And that's used on board the station to store all the biological samples that these astronauts take for eventual transport down here to the ground. 
He'll also be configuring the station's super sensitive high definition camera and placing it in the cupola to take some more stunning views of Aurora as the station makes a few nighttime passes.